we don't have a violent community, we have violence coming into our community, and that's what needs to change. It was another violent weekend on the south side. Residents there say they're tired of the senseless shooting and they're demanding action. Police are now investigating two shootings just blocks apart. The newest happening early Sunday morning on East Carson Street. Two men are now in critical condition after exchanging gunfire. This video sent in by a KDKA viewer is only a small part of what happened. People scattered for safety after bullets started flying. Police say a man was taken into custody for questioning and we're working to learn if charges were filed. Police are now hoping surveillance cameras in the area will help them figure out exactly what happened. Now this shooting came about 24 hours and about two blocks away from another shooting at the Cambodian kitchen. An employee was hit in the leg by a stray bullet and customers were ducking for cover after someone started shooting outside. We're told that worker is, is in critical condition and no one was arrested. Told that something was going to happen after last summer and all the violence. We've been continued to be told that things were going to change and we don't see any action. To reduce the violence, City Councilman Bruce Krause tells KDKA the city should limit how many people can go into the bars. He also say, says to disperse the crowds that are hanging around on the streets. The gun violence is causing some Southside businesses to make big decisions. Fudge Farm closed its location on East Carson Street for good. The store posted on Facebook writing they can no longer ask teenagers to work there or customers to come down in that environment.